sexiest woman on screen. Now she's taking a turn. All hell kind of broke loose in the hospital. I'd been hemorrhaging into my back and my head. Hey guys, what's happening? And welcome back to another juicy video on our channel. Celebrities are frequently taken for granted, so it's strange to imagine a world in which their careers ended prematurely. However, most prominent people are just as vulnerable to strange accidents and frightening medical conditions as the rest of us. Here are the seven celebs who survived the impossible. Number seven, Sharon Stone. I lost everything. I didn't want people to know. It was so fun for people to find me. The actress was hospitalized in 2003 due to a bad headache, a subarachnoid hemorrhage, which occurs when a ruptured artery causes bleeding between the brain and its main membrane was the cause. Stone fortunately made a full recovery after surgery, but due to that, she lost a lot of work and her private life was also affected at that time. After a massive surgery, she was totally out of danger and she's neurologically unaffected. Number six, Gray Busey. This was a serious accident, right? Well, yeah, most accidents are. <laughs> I ran around the corner going 40 miles an hour without a helmet. The Academy Award nominated actor was injured in a motorcycle accident without wearing a helmet. He was severely injured when the back of his head collided with the curb. Busey explained that he had post-traumatic amnesia for the first six weeks after the accident. He stated in his interview that he was irritated because he was in the hospital. The doctors ended up putting him in a psychiatric ward and medicating with three different types of medications to help him relax. Number five, Stephen King. This is where the accident happened, on this stretch of Route 5 just south of Stephen King's lakeside home in North Lovell. The horror story author was struck from behind by a distracted van driver while out walking. The collision destroyed so many bones that physicians were forced to amputate his leg entirely. King almost totally gave up riding due to the awful long-term ache he experienced from sitting for long periods of time. In 2007, he said he started riding at a far slower rate than previously. Doctors kept him under observation till he was fully recovered and his health improved. Number four, Travis Barker. She just kept screaming it and crying it. The landing gear popped. It sounded like gunshots. It was like, it sounded like someone was shooting a gun next to my head. In 2008, the drummer of Blink-182 escaped a Learjet disaster that killed his security guard and helper. Because the plane was on fire and his hands were also on fire, he couldn't unbuckle his seatbelt and jump immediately into the jet, which was carrying all of the fuel. His entire body was on fire and there was nothing he could do. After the accident, the rocker had to heal for four months and have about 27 surgeries. It was a very difficult time for the drummer as it's not easy to deal with such wounds. Number three, Rachel Bilson. For you to give me like all the Heart of Dixie spoilers, if I had but them. But before we get into that, I have a bone to pick with you. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. When she was 14, the American actress was involved in a head on collision. She was driving with friends down the Pacific Highway in California when the accident occurred and the disaster was so serious that she had to be taken out. Her car collided head on with a trunk, leaving the passengers alive. Rachel, on the other hand, was seriously hurt, but she had no memory of what happened. She hopes to forget about the car accident that put her in a coma for three straight days. Number two, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, Han Solo, and oh, quite a square for him landing. Ford has a great sense of adventure. Unfortunately, his passion for planes put him in great danger in 2015 while flying his World War II era vintage jet. Ford, the lone passenger on board, observed an engine breakdown around 20 minutes into his flight. From a height of around 3,000 feet, he crashed into a Santa Monica golf course and was transported to the hospital. Surprisingly, the worst of his injuries were shattered bones and a massive scalp wound. Number one, 50 Cent. I don't even know. I didn't know my legs were broke. Really? When I tried to get out the car at the hospital, both of my legs were broke. Like I... In 2000, 50 Cent was attacked in his Queens, New York neighborhood by an assassin who shot him nine times at point-blank range. 
Following that, he spent 13 weeks in the hospital. Three years later, his debut album Get Rich or Die Trying was published. The bullet that went through his cheek left him with a permanently swollen tongue and the bullet stuck within his mouth caused a slur in his voice. His doctor decided to leave it there because it would end up causing more harm than any good. If you know of other celebrities who survived the impossible situation, do share them with us in the comments down below so we can make a follow-up video to this one going forward. That said, don't forget to leave a like to this video if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Until next time, take care and goodbye.